Hey everybody, uh, yes, what a night of boxing we had, <laughs> oh man, that was unbelievable. Well, you know, first I want to talk about this card, the card, uh, well, the main event, uh, what a, an unbelievable fight, man. <laughs> Joe Cordina, he was... He just proved uh, again that he is one of the top dogs in, uh, at 130, definitely. He recaptured the IVF title, which was rather unjustly stripped from him. Yeah, he was very, I thought he was very dominant in that fight. I don't know, really, some people have called it a close fight. I didn't really see it as that. Rakimo, he hung in there, he kept throwing, but... He didn't let that many really hard shots. I mean, only in round five did he have uh, Cordina in trouble, you know. And, uh, yeah. But Cordina came back to his credit. At the, at in Later in the same round, he came, came back and started throwing. So he showed that he can take a good punch and bounce back, which is a very good good thing, you know. Because he's gonna be fighting, you know, if you're gonna be fighting all the top guys out there, like Oscar Valdez, for instance, or uh, Hector Garcia, or somebody else who can bang, you know, you wanna be able to take a punch and not just take it, but get back and throw your own, of course. <laughs> yeah, I mean, uh, Corina scored a really nice knockdown in round two. That was the only knockdown of the fight. Rakim, to his credit, he took the punches very well, but his eye was really, his eye, his right eye was fucked, you know, after round six, seven. Seventh round was the one where I thought that Corina was going to stop him, probably, because he landed a lot of big shots. But also in many other rounds he was really dominant and led at some really punishing blows, but Rakim was just tough as nails, man, you know. And in the end that scorecard, oh man, one sixteen one eleven for Rakim, that was ridiculous, you know. That guy f filled out his scorecard before that fight began, you know, man. I mean, come on, I mean how can you have that eh? I mean, even if it was 114, 113 for Rakim, I would have really protested. But 116, 111. Here you go, pal, pal, buddy. Fuck you. So that was really horrendous. Horrendous. And, all, and even the other two I thought were way too close. I actually had Rakim win three rounds only. And, uh, you know, in some other rounds, it looked like, you know, he was throwing, as I said, and he would attack, counterattack, but he wouldn't really land so much. So, I don't know where people could give him five rounds or something. No way, man. No way. No way. Four tops. Maybe I can see four. But even that is questionable. And Tony Bellew, he was, you know, so <laughs> I don't know what happened. I guess, you know, as a scouser, he doesn't like Welsh. <laughs> the Welsh, he was, his scorecard was all over the place. He had a, a draw that was ridiculous also. But, uh, yeah, it was a great fight. Uh, Joe Corina showed that he has all the skills and power also. The fact that he did not stop Rakhmo doesn't say really much because he has never been stopped and he has been hit by some hard shots before you know, Zelfa Barrett for instance Jojo Diaz yeah I mean he's just that kind of guy that you really can't stop or not really by a knockout but yeah so that was the, that fight uh, yeah I also Caught some of the American car uh, in uh, Vegas and uh, was it Vegas? Yeah, maybe. <laughs> I mean, I, I watched the uh, Melikuzi versus Rosado. That was a clear victory, of course, for Melikuzi, and he beat up Rosado. He just beat up, beat him up. But Rosado lasted till the tenth round. It was a ten rounder, maybe. Who knows? Maybe. 
I mean, like Kuzier could have stopped him if it was a 12 round, 12 round, but anyway, he got gets the revenge for that uh, unfortunate loss he suffered. Yeah, and also I watched, uh, I got to catch David Morel versus Yamauchi Falcao right before I had to go to sleep, to bed, and luckily that one ended in one round. That was just, you know, the way it was gonna go. You know, I, I believe my prediction was that Morel would stop him by, I don't know, six rounds, something, within six rounds, probably. But yeah, I mean, yeah, Lucci had no business doing that. I mean, fighting Morel, he's not at his level, and he's 35, you know, kind of at, at the end of his uh, peak. And uh, yeah, Morel just, you know, he did what he does, usually punished him and made quick work of him. He's such a great fighter. You know? I can't wait till he gets to fight somebody like, you know, Benavidez, Plant, or, you know, even Canelo. Yeah, those best top guys, anyway, you know, in that division, yeah. I mean, also Melikuzi is in that same division, so maybe they will also get to fight each other soon, who knows. Um, yeah, Meli Kuzi is a really strong guy, really fast, got great, uh, you know, uh, he's very athletic, you know, yeah, and Morel is a guy who really knows how to throw punches, put them together and all that, and that was a pretty bad knockout, man, I, Falcao looked, you know, really in bad shape after that. Yeah, he was just lying there. I hope he's he will be okay, but that looked bad, you know, man. And I think that will probably end his career now. He may have one more fight, maybe an easy farewell fight at home, I don't know. And then the fight that I did not watch, actually, was <laughs> the main fight was with uh, Tank Davis and Ryan Garcia. Yeah, you know, I predicted Garcia to win, but that was kind of, you know, I wanted, wanted him to win more or less. I didn't think that he would really win, I mean, by a knockout, but that, that it was, would be possible. However, you know, you must consider also that Garcia was fighting. Uh, he had to go down, back down from 140, and uh, yeah, might have affected him a bit, but the main problem was that he was kind of, not careful enough, was too aggressive, and you know, that's what happens, you know, when Gervonta is so good at uh, counter punching and landing the right punch at the right time, and when you attack him, just go at him without being really cautious or thinking about it, you pay the price, <laughs> buddy. <laughs> so that's the way it is. Uh, but of course, I think Garcia will. This will be a good, uh, you know, learning curve for him, you know, a good lesson, and he will come back stronger, even, I guess, at 140, you know, where he can fight somebody like, you know, I know, uh, Regis Prorate, Delfino Lopez, you know, somebody like that. So, yeah, those were the big fights of this weekend. We also had a car in Poland, I believe. Alan Babic lost in the first round. Well, that's the way you know, it goes when you just go all out. You have no defense. And yeah, I mean, also he changed his trainer recently. So that might have also been a part of the problem, the reason why he lost so badly, I don't know. Uh, I thought he's a uh, old trainer. He was, you know, he did good to him. Anyway, <laughs> uh, yeah, and it was the same guy who used to train Herbovich as well. Yeah, and some other famous fighters from that area. So yeah, and that was pretty much it. Martin Bakoli also won uh, against an unknown Ukrainian fighter by stoppage. Yeah, I have pretty high hopes for martin but we'll see anyway uh yeah so that was uh my kind of uh summary of last night's boxing yeah
and uh, I don't know what's coming next week, but uh, <laughs> for sure, uh, I don't think we'll have a, such a rich boxing night for a while now. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, maybe next, well, we'll see, and <laughs> that doesn't matter. Bye.